Uh, greetings and welcome to Brainytainment, where we stimulate your mind with fascinating facts and intriguing science. Here at Brainytainment, we aim to deliver educational content that's not only informative, but also captivating. Today, we're venturing into the realm of pharmaceuticals, specifically focusing on the science behind how Viagra works. It's a topic that's often shrouded in mystery, yet it's something that's important to understand. So buckle up and prepare for a cerebral adventure as we delve into the world of pharmaceuticals. Now, what exactly is Viagra? You might have heard it mentioned in passing, or perhaps you're familiar with its medical name, Sildenafil. Viagra, or Sildenafil as it's known in the medical world, was initially discovered in the late 20th century by scientists seeking to develop a new cardiovascular drug. The aim was to treat conditions like hypertension and angina, a type of chest pain associated with heart disease. However, during clinical trials, it was found that this little blue pill had a surprising and significant effect on erectile function. And so, what began as a potential heart medication took a different path. Today, Viagra is primarily used as a treatment for erectile dysfunction, a condition that affects millions of men worldwide. This unexpected twist in Viagra's journey is a testament to the unpredictable nature of scientific discovery. So, from an unexpected beginning, Viagra has become a household name in male sexual health. But how does it actually work? The science behind Viagra is not as complex as you might think. Let's dive right in. When a man is sexually aroused, the nervous system in the erectile tissue of the penis releases nitric oxide. This chemical is a neurotransmitter that triggers a series of chemical reactions necessary for an erection to occur. Nitric oxide's primary function is to stimulate the production of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP for short. CGMP is a substance that relaxes the smooth muscle cells. When these cells relax, they widen the arteries in the penis, allowing for increased blood flow, which results in an erection. However, this is where the enzyme phosphodiesterase type 5 commonly known as PDE5, comes into play. PDE5 is the party pooper in this process. It breaks down CGMP, causing the smooth muscle cells to contract again, which decreases blood flow and ends the erection. This is where Viagra steps in to save the day. Viagra works by inhibiting the action of PDE5. When PDE5 is blocked, CGMP doesn't get broken down. Instead, it builds up and lasts longer prolonging the relaxation of the smooth muscle cells and maintaining the increased blood flow. In other words, Viagra doesn't cause an erection directly. Instead, it enhances the body's natural mechanisms that lead to an erection. It's like giving a boost to the process that's already happening in your body when you're sexually stimulated. It's also worth noting that Viagra won't just cause an erection out of the blue. Sexual arousal is still necessary because it's the trigger for the release of nitric oxide. Without this initial trigger, the whole process, including the role of Viagra, won't kick off. Remember, Viagra isn't an aphrodisiac. It doesn't increase sexual desire. It simply helps maintain an erection once you're already sexually aroused. So Viagra's role is essentially to maintain an environment that promotes the penile erection. It's a fascinating piece of science that has changed the lives of many and it all comes down to the interplay of a few chemicals in our bodies. But the story doesn't end there. Viagra also has a significant impact on our nervous system. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. You see, our nervous system is like an intricate web of communication lines transmitting messages between our brain and the rest of our body. One of its key components is the parasympathetic nervous system, which is primarily responsible for the body's rest and digest functions. It's like the calming influence in our body, slowing our heart rate, aiding digestion, and yes, promoting sexual arousal. Viagra, also known by its scientific name Sildenafil, interacts directly with this system. It does this by inhibiting an enzyme called phosphodiesterase type 5, or PDE5 for short. This enzyme is found in high concentrations in the penis and is responsible for breaking down a molecule called cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP for short. Now here's where it gets interesting. CGMP is a crucial player in the erection process. It relaxes the smooth muscle cells in the penis, allowing blood to flow in and cause an erection. By inhibiting PDE5, Viagra essentially stops the breakdown of CGMP, allowing it to do its job more effectively. 
But remember, this process doesn't happen in isolation. The parasympathetic nervous system needs to send the initial signals for CGMP to be released. This is why sexual stimulation is necessary for Viagra to work. It's a team effort, with the nervous system setting the stage and Viagra helping to enhance the performance. And so, this dance between Viagra and the nervous system, this complex interplay of signals and responses, is what makes it possible for this little blue pill to have such a profound effect. It's not just about blocking an enzyme or promoting blood flow. It's about the whole system working together in harmony. Therefore, Viagra not only works at the cellular level, but also interacts with our body's complex nervous system. As with any medication, Viagra also has potential side effects and precautions to consider. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road. It's easy to get carried away with the benefits of Viagra, but it's equally important to understand the flip side. Like any medication, Viagra can have side effects. Some of the most common ones include headaches, flushing and indigestion. Let's talk about these side effects a little more. Headaches are the most common side effect of Viagra, affecting about 1 in 10 men. This is due to the changes in blood flow that Viagra causes. Flushing, where parts of the body, such as the face, neck and chest, become red and warm, is another common side effect. It's a result of widened blood vessels, a direct effect of Viagra. Lastly, indigestion is another common side effect, which can cause discomfort or pain in the stomach area. Now, these side effects usually are not severe and often diminish as the body becomes accustomed to the medication. However, if you experience these side effects and they're causing you discomfort or concern, it's essential to consult with your healthcare professional. But remember, before you even reach the stage of dealing with side effects, it's paramount to discuss with your healthcare provider if Viagra is right for you. This is because Viagra can interact with other medications and it's not suitable for men with certain health conditions. For instance, men with heart diseases or men taking nitrates for chest pain should avoid Viagra. It's also not recommended for men with low blood pressure. So it's not just about popping a pill and waiting for the magic to happen. It's about understanding your body, knowing your health status and making an informed decision with your healthcare provider. So while Viagra can be a solution for some, it's crucial to remember that it's not suitable for everyone. And that's why it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new medication, including Viagra. Oh, well, there you have it, the science behind how Viagra works. We've navigated quite the cerebral journey today, my friends. We've delved into the depths of a little blue pill that has in many ways revolutionized the world of sexual health. Let's take a moment to summarize our voyage, shall we? First, we discovered what Viagra is. This seemingly simple pill, known in the scientific community as sildenafil, has made quite an impact since its introduction to the market. Initially developed as a treatment for heart conditions, it quickly showed its true colors as a potent enhancer of penile erections, thus earning its fame as a go-to solution for erectile dysfunction. But how does it work, you ask? Oh, that's where things get truly fascinating. It all comes down to a delicate dance of biochemistry. Viagra primarily works by inhibiting an enzyme called PDE5. This inhibition leads to an increase in nitric oxide levels, which in turn dilates blood vessels and floods the penis with blood. The result, as we've learned, is a strengthened and sustained erection. Our journey didn't stop there. We also explored the intricate relationship between Viagra and the nervous system. It's an important reminder that our bodies are interconnected systems and what affects one part can have ripple effects elsewhere. In this case, Viagra doesn't directly interact with our nervous system but rather enhances the body's natural response to sexual stimuli, thus creating a more robust penile erection. Finally, we discussed the potential side effects and precautions associated with Viagra. Like any medication, it's crucial to use Viagra responsibly and be aware of possible side effects, including headaches, dizziness and changes in vision. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new medication. And with that, we've reached the end of our journey today. This exploration into the world of Viagra has been enlightening, to say the least. But remember, the world of science and health is vast and ever-evolving. There's always more to learn, more to discover. Thanks for joining us on this cerebral adventure. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Brainytainment for more captivating content. Remember, knowledge is power. Until next time, stay curious.